In this video we're going to look at some of the effects you can apply to audio tracks, in particular music tracks. So if we come into here, I'm going to select our music track, which you can see is Hammock down here. I'm going to click on that and I come over to this button here, which is our audio. So if I click on that, there's a couple of things you can be aware of. First of all, really basic kind of effects that we can do. So we can just change the overall volume, make it louder or softer as an overall. Um, we can also mute it so it completely has no sound, but we, we want to have sounds, so we leave that in there. In the Advanced tab, there's some interesting stuff. First off, you can choose the different types. Now, it is music, but sometimes it might really pick it up as wrong, um, and it just that gives you different effects that we can have. Auto Volume means it will adjust to make sure your volume is within the range um, of what is acceptable for, um, for video production, so it doesn't clip, it doesn't get too loud, and it's not too soft. And the auto duck is a really useful feature. What it will do is it will automatically reduce um, the volume of the music if any other um, soundtrack is playing at the same time. So when this voiceover happens here, and actually I might even move the voiceover down here to make it more obvious, but when the voiceover happens, this volume will actually turn down. So I'm going to come back to here and go auto duck, and let's play that and see if we can hear it. So here we are at the library. Right, so you can see that it's actually made the background music quiet for that particular um, that particular part of it. So it's made it soft. So you can see the actual volume drop here as it goes along. It comes back up. That's actually symbolized there. Um, something else you can do at the end, if you wish, you can apply just the same as you do with um, with the video clips. You can come up here and you can apply a transition. So the transition, I'm going to go dip to black, which is equivalent to um, to fading out. So I'm just going to delete that other one, the start there. If this come to the end here, hopefully we'll hear that actually fade out as it goes along. You can see it just dries down really quickly. And you can actually change the timing of that fade out. If you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can slide that backwards or forwards. Okay, so this is some things that you can do to change your um, music. They do some effects you can do on your um, music tracks in Premiere Rush.